What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Hammer. Man, welcome to Hammer on Twos. Man, let me tell you. So today I got something in the mail on this Memorial Day weekend. And I decided that, you know what? I'm going to unbox. I'm even going to do the install for you. It's nothing huge, not a big piece. And by the way, um, it's Memorial Day. So thank you for all those service members that served. We appreciate it. I'm going to start my Memorial Day off. After I get off um, this camera and installing this part with a Padron 1926 series number one. And this is a Churchill, you know, hey. Hey, man, I get Monday off. I'm going to take advantage of it. But anyway, let's get right into this install that I'm going to do. All right, man, we're back. What I'm going to do is unpackage it. I meant to say that before. I don't know what I was thinking. But anyway, I've already opened the package because I wanted to look at it. Um, so basically what I'm doing is I'm actually going to put in, I have a TT driven gas cap on my bike and it's sort of fading on me, which I'm a little disappointed about. But what's so be it? So I'm going to try this Vortex out. And not only am I going to try the Vortex, I got the little red lever that goes with it. Hey, you know, it is what it is. So right now what I'm doing is put this little red lever right onto this vortex. And I'm going to do this all live. So y'all get to watch me do this. You know, sometimes I can do things pretty quick. Other times, huh? it's not as easy as I thought. All right. It looks like a pretty nice, well-built piece. All right, it's pretty solid. It looks like it's going to take three bolts. And of course, they don't give you any bolts. Why? Because you can use the ones that's on the bike. Oh, but you do have this piece. Yeah, that's important. I don't know why that came off. That's the gasket. That'll keep the gas in the tank and not coming off the bike. All right, but anyway, man, it keeps falling off. Anyway, let me just put this here. Let's open up this red piece. And it's just a piece to lock it in. You know, I want to do, put a little red, give a little pop on it. It's not a huge piece. So let me get this open. All right. So it looks like it's an Allen wrench. Now, I'm not the best with sizes. I picked the right size the first time, which, no, it's not. It's too big too small on me. That piece is kind of big. Okay, that's not it. So maybe it was the other piece. Press down a little harder. I might have to go and get my T-lines because I don't want to mess this piece up. That would be a hot mess. Yep. I'm going to get my T-line and it looks like I need a size seven millimeter be right back okay we're back all right let's hopefully i have one of the right size i think this is the size right here yep so it's a size three t line that thing was in there pretty tight now i also know that there's a spring and a ball so I'm sort of holding it in place. So there's the screw, it's aluminum. Look, it has a little blue lock on it too, and I have some blue lock. So I'm gonna let this lift up slowly. Oh yeah. So it's a spring in the hole, and there's a little ball on the top. I don't know if you can see that. I don't want the ball to come out but it's a spring down there. So that's gonna be pretty good. Pretty, should be pretty simple to install. And I'm just gonna switch it out with this piece. And I know that the, there are two holes on it and the two holes go down.
And I'm going to use a little bit more blue lock as well. And there are times where things shouldn't come out the top since you screw it down. But I've had things that like vibrate up. And I'm like, what in the world? How you vibrate up? So I just put a little dot, dot on top. And of course, when I put it down like this in the hole, it's going to drip all through. So that's good. Didn't use a whole lot. Then I'm just going to screw it down. Make sure it works. Oh, yeah. That, that baby works nice. And I'm going to tighten it up. Yeah, that's it. Yep, yeah, perfect. So this is going to be my new gas cap. Now, the one thing that I saw, and I um, I actually follow um, Jim Vance, Brian Vance. Sometimes he says Jim, sometimes he says Brian. You don't know. On Superbike Track Gear. And he was saying a lot of people was, were complaining about this thing is tight. And it is tight. But what he said is once you get it, once you put it on and you unscrew it off, put some grease, brake grease around the edges. You know, like you do for oil um, change with the nut. Do the same thing with this screw right here. And he said the more you use it, the more it'll loosen. But then all that oil will get all in the cracks and it won't hurt your gas or anything like that. But you're supposed to put a lot up there, just enough to coat it and get it so it won't get stuck. So what we're going to do now I'm going to save this little piece, by the way. You never know. Might want to go back one day. Who knows, right? Uh, I am going to tighten the screws that's in here just to make sure. Yeah, they're tight. Yeah, they're tight in there. The piece in here, that, that's tight. That's tight. And I don't know what this is holding down. Because if I can get this whole piece in red, you know it's coming. You know it's coming. All right. What we're going to do now, I'm going to go in the garage, I'm going to install this, and then I'm going to unscrew this cap, get it oiled up, and from then on, we're going to see how much I like it. Do I really like it or not? And at this point, I'm stuck with it. I already bought it, right? So it's not malfunctioning, so I'm not going to send it back. Um, and I'm also going to get off this work shirt and get it something more comfortable. So let's go to the bike. All right, y'all. So I'm going to try to do this with one hand, but currently I have the um, Halo um, cap, but it's kind of fading in there. And I'm like, you know, if it's going to fade, then guess what? I might as well just go with the black, right? So, and then put a little red accent. So again, this is a number four to remove these. So I'm going to remove these bolts. And I don't want these boats to drop in the gas tank. Man, you talking about being a disaster, that would do it. So I'm just gonna loosen them all up. They were in there kind of snug. Now what's interesting about the high boost, if I can't, I'm trying to think, I'm about to find out in a second, but yeah, I thought it had like a tube going down into the tank for ventilation, but I could be wrong. But if you have the original, then basically what's going to happen is that you're just going to remove the screws. That's all. And what I'm doing, I'm going to lift the whole piece up because I don't want the screws to actually fall in the tank. Oh, nope. It doesn't have anything. So there it is. Just that simple, man. Oh, and let me show you all this as well. Put this here. But this right here is what I'm going to use to put around the screw part that I'm going to screw in. So hold on. Let me get the piece together so I can bring you all back on. One second. All right, guys. So the only thing I did was I took the top out. I just unscrewed it out. Just took it out. And if you notice, it's only three holes. The same three holes. I just took the boat out. I'm going to boat those right back down. So I'm going to get these started and bring y'all on as I tighten it down. And I did leave 
the other part underneath the rubber piece, the gasket underneath, and it sits on top of the iron part that's connected to the tank. So it's really simple to use. When you take the original off, you probably have more screws. But again, just unscrew them, take it right off, and hey, this is a real easy install. So one second. All right, so I put the three bolts back in, and I started them down, and I'm just screwing it down a little bit. I'm not gonna tighten it all the way, because I'm gonna go around until it's really even. I want it to be flush even. Man, this works so much better when you have another person helping you film, you know? All right, so that's damn pretty snug. Tighten this up. That's pretty snug. That's pretty snug. 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 Oh, perfect. Meanwhile, my gas evaporating out of my tank. But you can look down at that baby. That baby looked empty. And it said it was full when I got home. Anyway. So now I have this right here. And I'm just going to use what's in the top, man. I'm not, you know, just put a little bit up here. And if you can see me digging all in the grease, right? Yeah, just a little bit. Again, I'm doing this with one hand, so pretty sure it'd be easier with two. And I'm just going around this metal piece right here. Can y'all see that? Greasing her up! Yes, sir. So don't just put it on dry. You know, go around the rim, man. You know, go around the rim. Get it up here pretty good. Make sure you get all the little spots. I'm doing it. Make sure you get all the little spots around. You know. Then at that point, you know, you put it down. Go get you a towel. And that's what I'm about to do now. Get a towel. There's one right behind me. See, I got my scogie sitting over there. Along with my water. Oh, that's apple juice over there. For all the kids looking, yeah, drink your apple juice. Make it strong when you get older. All right, so that's it. Just like that, I wiped it off. No access. Wiped off my glove, too, you know. Ain't nothing like pit bull stands, by the way. Man, some kind of stands you can work on your bike. So at that point, now I have it. I can just screw it in. Man, this screws down pretty smooth. It's not that metal on metal anymore. Look at that. Just like that, and I can tighten it. But at that point, that's it. Nice install, man. Nice, easy install. And this is the Vortex gas cap. And I thought it was important to, to do it live because I know when I'm looking for something, I'm always looking for a video. I want to see them do it like right now. When was the last time they did it, you know? And I may have to adjust this a little bit, like turn a little more, but yeah, man, it's in there. It's in there. So when I'm riding tomorrow, hopefully I don't get any gas on me. That'll be a hot mess, right? To unlock it. And this was what they were saying, to unscrew it. Say, you gotta work it in a little bit. It's hard at first, but say, it'll, it'll ease up. So it'll ease up. Let's take it on off, put in that gas. Put it back on, screw it back down. Perfect. Perfect. I think you just lock it. I think that piece is supposed to be all the way over here, but that's me. I gotta adjust it. And maybe I have to do something else. I don't know. But it's on right because you wanna have vortex facing this way. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that really quick video. And I'm gonna post this up before I do the Wednesday night ride. So I'm gonna do this one tonight. That way, if you get a Vortex, you can go ahead and install it. I'll make sure my screw is in the right place and all that. But it's really an easy install. That took what? Five, 10 minutes? Hey, that's something. All right, guys. Yeah, you can see your boy got really comfortable, got it together. You know, it, it's okay. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video, man. 
Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you share this video with your friends. And it's like, the camera's kind of dark. Yeah, I need to step out in there like, oh yeah, yeah. Whew, I'm yelling. Anyway, hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And make sure you hit that notification bell. Until the next time, your boy Hammer out. Peace.